everybody. As always, I hope you're doing well out there. In today's video, I'm going to be answering a viewer question. Grant viewed one of my other videos. Thanks for watching, Grant. And he asked whether or not the Garmin Instinct has a speedometer feature. To answer your question, Grant, it kind of does. Now, it doesn't have a set alone feature like it does with the barometer, the compass, the altimeter, but it actually has a field on here called the speed field that will give you your current speed when you're doing a given activity. Now, I think this field is primarily for things like boating, downhill skiing, cycling, but you can actually set it up and use it in any activity you want to. You can even use it in your car to track your trip. And I'm gonna show you all how to do that in this video. So first, let me say, this is one of those videos that isn't gonna to work too great because I'm sitting at my desk and in order to use the speed feature, you have to be moving. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through how to set up an activity add the speed feature, and then you can get in your car or you can get on your bike and you can see how it works for yourself. So let's start by pressing and holding the menu button on the left-hand side, and then we're gonna arrow down to settings, press GPS to select settings, and then we're gonna press GPS to select activities and apps. Now, again, you can use the speed feature on any activity that uses GPS and allows you to choose your data fields or has the data field speed. What I'm gonna do in this example though is I'm gonna go down to the bottom and I'm gonna add a custom activity. So we've got all of these we can pick from. If you go to the very bottom, you've got the option for other. I'm gonna select GPS to select that and let's just name this car. So let's say we're going on a trip and we wanted to use our Garmin as kind of like a navigation system to basically track how our trip goes. How fast are we going? How far was the trip, etc. We can do that. So I've got my activity named, it's called car. You can call yours whatever you want. Once we've got it named, we're gonna get the option for data screens. I'm gonna press GPS to select data screens. Then I'm presented with these various data fields that I can alter if I want to. You'll see we've got distance, we've got heart rate, we've got timer, we've got speed. Speed is the key one. Speed is the one that when we're doing the activity, when we're driving, it will show us how fast we're moving. But we can also edit some of these other ones. I'm gonna press the GPS button. We can change the layout if we want. I'm gonna leave the four field layout. But for example, field number one, I don't really need heart rate. I'm gonna change that. And instead of heart rate, let's do a speed field and let's choose maximum speed. So now field one in the upper right hand corner is gonna be our maximum speed. That's how fast was the fastest we went during the given activity. Field number two is distance, which is fine. That's gonna be the total distance traveled during the activity. Field number three is timer. Now I don't know that we want timer. Let's choose the options and let's go look at what we can choose instead. I think what I would rather do instead of timer for something like a trip is I would wanna do elapsed time. Elapsed time is going to show how long has the activity been? So let's say we take off driving, we drive for 30 minutes, then we stop at McDonald's to eat for 10 minutes, then we drive for another 20 minutes. It'll calculate that whole time of the activity. If you're doing a trip counter, I would think that's what you want is you wanna know how long was the actual trip. Again, all of these fields are optional. And then finally, field number four is our speed field. So we've got our field set the way we want. Let's press the back button. Let's press back again. And let's choose done. You can choose whether or not you want to set it as a favorite. Sure, why not? I'm going to leave it right there. So now we have set up a activity to use while we're in the car. Now this is the part of the video where you're going to have to kind of do this on your own to see how it works. We're going to press the GPS button. We're gonna go down, what I would recommend doing is go down, choose your activity. So in this example, we're gonna choose car. You gotta make sure that you've got the GPS connected. I've done some videos in the past that walk you through how to change your activity screens. If you don't do anything by default, you should have GPS. If you wanted to adjust it, we could have done it in the previous screen or you can press the up button, go back into our car settings. And if you go down to the very, almost near the bottom, you'll see the option for GPS. So you can choose whether or not you want regular GPS in GLONASS, or if you just wanna change it and use regular GPS, that's fine too. But you have to have GPS because GPS is going to be what calculates your speed, just like any other navigation device in your car. Once you've got your GPS connected, go ahead and press GPS to start. Start driving and watch. Your speed field here will basically be your speedometer. It should match pretty close to what your 
car is showing as far as how fast you're traveling. I hope the video makes sense. Get out and try it. Let me know what you think. As always, I appreciate you watching the videos. Have a good day.